Hello my loves, welcome back to Live Tarot and a new pick a card reading. Today we're going to be going in deep on if you are on your special person's mind. So your twin flame, your soulmate, your beloved, um, what are they thinking and feeling about you and this connection at this time? We're going to get you some clarity so you can make some great decisions for yourself as you move forward, whether it is to unite or to reunite with that special person if you've been in some form of struggle or separation. So if you're new to this channel, I am Dr. V. I am so happy to have you here. If these readings resonate, make sure that you do hit that subscribe button. Join this incredible, beautiful Live Tarot community. For those of you who are already part of the family, you know how much I love and appreciate you. Thank you so much for all of your comments, your messages, your support, not only for me, but also for one another. Thank you for being so active in the comments and for sharing your thoughts, your feelings, and your stories. I know last video I had asked all of you to, you know, if you feel comfortable, share what it is that you truly want from this connection. And you guys just opened your hearts and wrote such beautiful messages about what you want. Thank you so much for doing that. I've read every single one of them and it is going to help me to connect better with your energy, connect better with your desires and your intentions and to give you better and deeper readings. So thank you for that. And that is why I always say, make sure you do subscribe because it is is a beautiful energetic exchange between us and it will help me to tap better into your energy for these general readings. So do make sure that you are gentle with yourself because not everything may resonate for you, right? Just take what messages do and leave the rest. But if you'd like to have specific guidance on your unique journey, you can have a personal reading with me or you can order any of the Oracle decks that I have created for you. Um, the new one that I'll be using today, Twin Flame Shadow and Light Messages, is finally out. It is released. You can get it in my Etsy shop. So all of the links to everything are in the box below. Now, before we get into your card choices today, many of you have been asking me about affirmations. Um, if you have been with me uh, since the beginning of my channel, you know that I used to do beautiful affirmations to help you um, better connect with the energy of love, the energy of romance, so that you can activate um, that energy and attract the exact relationship partner or th that union or reunion that you want. And I used to always give you that affirmation of the day and then ask you to write it in the comment box below and then to like put it in your vibration that day, right? Just to help you get into that high vibrational state to attract the loving relationship that you want. And, and so I had stopped doing it, but many of you have asked me to start that again. And so I think that would be amazing. Thank you for doing that. So we are going to start. So today I want you, I'm going to give you your affirmation right now, and I want you to write that in the comment box below and put it in your vibration and include it with any other comment that you have about your reading. So today's affirmation is my absolute favorite. This is the one that I use for myself. But remember, the most important thing about affirmations is that we don't want to just say it, right? We want to fully believe it. Otherwise, it's not going to work. We have to believe it to the core of our being. And so when I give you this affirmation, I want you to take some time and sit with it and and see how you believe in it. Do you believe in it? Because it's so important. And if you feel that you don't, then now you know that that is something that you want to work on in your energy and in your vibration. So today's affirmation is... I deserve the best and I always get it. That is one of my favorite ones that I practice myself and it has worked so beautifully for me and I want it to work powerfully for you as well. So I deserve the best and I always get it. 
All right, make sure you put that in the comment box below. Put it in your energy, sit with that, work with that today because you do deserve absolutely the best and you have to be willing and ready to receive it. All right, I'm so excited for that. Thank you for all of you who asked to bring the affirmations back. All right, let's get into your um, beautiful choices here today. You can pick number one, number two, number three, or you can pick them all and take the messages that resonate for you and leave the rest. So for our group one, we have Magic Stream. So what I did was choose all of these for water energy, right? Beautiful, flowy, dreamy cups, water energy. Our group number two is wishing well. And our group number three is sacred pool. So go ahead and make your selection and we will start with number one, the magic stream. My beautiful group one that chose the magic stream, here is your reading. Let's take a look at, are you on your person's mind? And if so, what are they thinking and feeling about you in this connection? So we're gonna start with getting your person's overall energy. And here it is. Last quarter moon in Scorpio, reveal what needs to be seen. Wow, okay, so in terms of your person's overall energy, what I'm getting is that they may have been, or they may be at least in this short term, not long term I'm feeling, but in this short term, I feel that there may be certain things that they are going through that they're, they haven't been able to fully communicate with you. Um, you may feel that they have been holding back, um, maybe holding back in communication, holding back in going in deep into their feelings. Like you feel like they may be telling you certain things, but only to a certain extent. Like, you know, there's some sense of this feeling of there's more that I need to know. There's more that I feel like I don't know about my person's inner feelings, okay? So there's something here that it's like they definitely want to reveal it to you. They want to speak to you more about it. Are you on their mind? Absolutely, yes. And this is why I'm saying that you know, if you feel that there's been a lack of communication, some sort of a stepping back energy, I feel like it, it they have stepped back or they haven't been communicating as much because there's something that they wish to reveal to you that is um, a bit of a, a an effort for them. OK, there's something that they need to talk to you about or tell you when it comes to their feelings or things that are going on in their life that maybe it has been very hard for them to reveal. So that is why they may have stepped back their energy because um, it's like some sort of a push and pull struggle. For some of you, I, I I'm feeling two energies. For some of you, I feel like it has to do with the intensity of their feelings for you, okay? I feel like there's something about you, this connection, this relationship that has really opened up something very deep in your person, something that they're not used to feeling. Okay, something that they're not used to. I feel like your person, um, they definitely struggle a bit with um, revealing some of their more deeper, some of their more vulnerable emotions. You know, this this is the type of person who um, they may seem very, very open and funny and cool. And like, there's something about them that is very, very likable. That is very, very like fun to be around. But one of the things that they struggle with is revealing their deeper emotions. Um, you know, like they, when they feel something very deep, especially when it comes to their love for you, I feel like that intensity can sometimes be overwhelming for them. And they have a hard time expressing that. Okay, so that's for some of you. For others of you, I feel like 
there's something more specific. Um, there's something about their life, their experience, something going on in their life that they need to reveal to you, but they're having a hard time doing so. And this is why they may have been struggling or they may have been, you know, not as communicative as they should be. Okay, so that's what's going on in their overall energy, but I'm feeling that you are definitely on their mind, definitely, okay? They're trying to figure out how to um, reveal to you what needs to be revealed, okay? So let's go deeper with tarot here. What else do we need to know, Spirit, about your person's thoughts and feelings about you? Are you on their mind? What more are they thinking See, Knight of Wands, yeah. Page of Pentacles. Wow, death and rebirth. Okay, so see, this is why I'm saying, yeah. There's something here that has been very difficult there's some sort of a transition some sort of a change here that has been very difficult for your person um, to manage there is a part of them that very much wants to um, take very very clear action towards you but I feel like for many of them, they're not quite sure what exact action to take because there's been some sort of very heavy energy here that they're dealing with, with death and rebirth. I mean, this is a good energy in the sense that there is a transformation coming into this relationship. That's a very good thing. But I feel like it's on the other side of the emotions that your person needs to go through. There is some sort of some sort of a cycle of... Um, acceptance that your person needs to go through something has happened here that has really changed a lot uh in terms of their energy of who they are what they want how they see themselves um for some of you i feel like something has come to an end here but it doesn't necessarily mean that the relationship has come to an end. I feel like something has some sort of a phase in this connection has come to an end, but it needed to come to an end because it it's in order for it to come back in a really powerful and better way for both of you in order for both of you to have this rebirth. I feel that there was a particular phase that had to come to an end. And I feel like part of it has to do with some sense of immaturity on the part of your person. They're coming through here as this page of pentacles. I'm feeling that there's something about them when it comes to their um, practical life, when it comes to the realities of certain obstacles that they may have in their life, certain things that they need to work through, they haven't really been able to access a more mature state of mind, state of being in order to do that. So I feel like for some of you, your person, and it really doesn't have to do with their age or how old they are. I feel like this is a state of being. One of the things that I feel that spirit is really challenging them for right now in their life as well as how it translates into their relationship with you is that the challenge is it is time to grow up okay that is the energy i'm getting spirit is saying to your person it is time for you to grow up if you want this love if you don't want to lose this person as in you who loves you so much who is there for you who is willing to give their heart and soul for this relationship don't you need to step up to, right? Because I feel like spirit is telling them or showing them that if they don't step up to this, if they don't come out of this page of pentacles energy, because I feel like there's something very immature um, in the way that they communicate, in the way that they solve problems in their life, they really do need to step up into a much higher level if they want to meet you as an equal. And I feel like spirit is telling them that. And spirit has kind of shown them that, hey, you know what? You can't take this for granted because if you do and you don't step up, you're going to lose this person. You're not going to be able to meet 
them where they are, as in they're not going to be able to meet you where you are. Because I'm not feeling that you're in this page of pentacles energy. Okay. Like I feel like they are in this energy. They need to step up. They need to come into alignment with a much better, greater version of themselves. This is this relationship with you is their catalyst. It is the message from spirit that, Hey, if you want to claim this love, you may not be ready to step into the energy of the king. Okay. You may not be there yet, but you do need to step into the next level, which would be that Knight of wands. It's time to take action. It's time to put your money where your mouth is. <laughs> this is the energy I'm getting. Um, it's time to take passionate, valuable, productive action towards you. So this is what is on their mind right now. This is what they are contemplating, what they're thinking, what they are knowing is the truth. This is the truth that is dawning on your person. And I have to be honest here. They are definitely a little bit intimidated and scared by this. Okay. They are definitely intimidated and scared by the level of this connection by the utter power of this connection that they have with you. It is not something that they are used to. It is not something that they have felt before. It is very new to them. That is why there's a fear around this death card. There's this fear that, oh my gosh, I'm going to lose it. Um, and if I lose it, I'm going to be the fool. You know, I'm going to be the idiot who lost something that was literally once in a lifetime. And so this is why I feel like what is on their mind right now is you and the fact that they need to reveal all of these things to you, reveal what needs to be seen, what is hidden. So let's see what else. Wandering path. Enjoy the journey. Satisfaction. You let the energy of love guide you to self-approval so that others no longer define who you are. Beautiful. See? I, it's so much about defining who they are now. See, new beginnings begin your new life. So I feel, look at this energy right here. We are seeing this energy of death and rebirth coming through here as well, right? There's a new beginning here. There is a beautiful new beginning that I feel is so powerful, both for your person as an individual um, as well as the two of you as in a relationship, because I feel like as they step into this version of themselves that they really do need to step into in order to have this beautiful connection with you in a way that is satisfying. I feel like you're both seeking this very deep satisfaction and you've gotten glimpses of it in this connection. Like you've definitely felt it from time to time, but I feel like what you're both really after is feeling that constant satisfaction, like trying to keep that elevated satisfaction between the two of you as the dominant state, right? I mean, it's not going to be in every relationship. There's always ups and downs. I mean, there's always going to be times where you're not satisfied, but I feel like for two beings who are committed to that, you can up level that feeling of satisfaction, you know, that feeling of deep contentment. And I feel like both of you have definitely seen that with one another. And so I feel like when you've tasted a little bit, you want more. And that's a good thing. I feel like your person has tasted that. You have tasted that. It is very juicy. It is very delicious. It's something that you both want. Yes, the path has been wandering for the two of you because of your person's kind of need to get out of this page of pentacles energy. But there is also this, this sense of enjoying the journey as well, savoring this journey. Even if it may have its ups and downs, it's time to seek that satisfaction. It's time to know that the satisfaction is within your reach with the this new beginning this rebirth between the two of you so i'm really loving this it's like this very delicious very you know energy full of possibilities that that's what's coming through and i'm really loving that so let's get some specific messages 
from their higher self and some outcome next actions. So at this point, I just want to thank you so much for being here and please do make sure that you subscribe if you're loving this video so far. Um, and please do give it a like because it shows YouTube that we have a message of love that is worth sharing and spreading and it means so much to me. So let's take a look at what they would say to you. And of course, if you missed the introduction, um, let me reiterate, uh, everybody's been asking for um, affirmation of the day as we used to do before early on in the channel. So I have brought that back. So if you'd like to join us for the affirmation of the day, you can go ahead and write it in the comment box below and put it in your vibration today. So the affirmation of the day is I deserve, oh my God, look at this. <laughs> Wow. So the affirmation of the day is I deserve the best and I always get it. I deserve the best and I always get it. Wow. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Beautiful. Wow. So see, this is what I'm saying. I do feel so strongly that the beauty of this connection and what is going to happen next in this connection is really all about ascension between the two of you as well as um, individually, right? So I feel like your person is really working on their own identity, right? Like who they are. They are working on up leveling who they are. And as they do that, there is an ascension that is coming both for them individually, which is going to be great for them, as well as for you as a couple, which is going to be great for both of you together. Look at this. Oh my God, we're getting the twin flames. I love it. So if you were looking for a confirmation, if you're on a twin flame journey, here it is. <laughs> if not, I mean, that's fine. You don't have to believe in twin flames, but this card really does just represent that you guys have this deep, beautiful, soulful connection and your person absolutely does not wish to lose that because see, I feel like if you are in struggle or separation at this time, they are feeling that loss of self and identity. Okay. This is very deeply connected. I feel like their sense of self, their sense of who they are is very deeply connected to their connection with you. And that is why this is something that is greatly on their mind. They don't want to lose you, nor do they wish to lose their sense of self. I'm tortured by visions of the life we almost had. We could have been so happy together and I destroyed it. Okay, so this is a special message for those of you who are in separation, right? Yes, your person, you are definitely on their mind. Look at this. They're tortured by visions of what you could have had, right? And to me, this is, you know, this is why I feel like they are preparing to reveal what needs to be seen, right? They're preparing to reclaim this connection. I need to be alone for now. I need to make sense of my intense feelings. I don't want to feel this way. Okay, so for some of you, you know, when somebody realizes that they have this connection, sometimes they need a little bit of processing time. It's hard, you know, there's a lot of intensity there for them. So they may be right now just, you know, taking a little bit of time to regroup, to understand those emotions and then reveal what needs to be seen. I want to hold you and be held by you again. I want to wake up with you by my side every day. Beautiful. Wow. I love it. So let me know what you thought in the comment box below. If you'd like to have a personal reading with me or order any of the Oracle decks that I have created for you, all of the links are in the box below. Thank you so much for being here, guys. I love you so much and I'll see you all on the next one. Hello, my beautiful group two that chose the wishing well. Here is your reading. Is your person thinking about you? Are you on their mind? So we're going to start with your person's overall energy. We're going to use this card right here. 
Last quarter moon in Aries. Work through your feelings. Very interesting. So yes, your person is definitely thinking about you. You are on their mind. And <laughs> what could be more direct than this? <laughs> They're trying to work through their feelings about you and this connection. So I am feeling a little bit of a heavier energy here. I feel like something may have happened in this connection. I feel like there's something here about a sense of not being fully in touch with what you're feeling. And I'm getting this energy from your person that this is something that is not indicative of their relationship with you. I feel like one of the things that your person is all about is, you know how sometimes you see people who on the outside seem very, um, very strong. Uh, they seem very casual. I'm getting this energy like of this person who is very witty, who's funny, who comes across as a very kind of strong, determined person. Um, they can even come across as somebody who like you don't want to mess with. Okay. Like, you know, somebody who gives across an energy of, you know, I am a really, you know, masterful, powerful kind of a, an energy, right? Somebody who is self-confident, somebody who kind of always exudes this energy of, I know what I want. I go after what I want. Um, don't mess with me. There's this energy of like, don't mess with me, but not in a bad way, but just in this way of like, okay, I know who I am. I know what I want. Um, I know what I am doing out in the world, but I feel like what they do is that kind of persona. It's not that it's not authentic. It is who they are, but what they do is they use that kind of persona or that kind of, you know, very, very um, public kind of self-confidence, very public kind of strength. They use that to like mask the fact that they have these very deep, soulful feelings, you know, um, that they are very sensitive inside. Okay. So I feel like that's where your person, there's a bit of like this, this, I would have to say like this, uh, dichotomy or kind of like this split between what they show publicly versus what they truly feel inside. So there's a persona and that's okay. You know, we all have that. We all have, um, a face that we show to the world, not that, and I don't feel like there's anything like duplicitous or, um, inauthentic about that. I feel like, you know, we are all very complex individuals, complex human beings with an array of different, you know, emotions that are going on in different ways in which we cope with the external world, right? So I feel like your person, they have this very interesting dichotomy of this persona that they show to the outside world, which is very strong, very self-confident, very don't mess with me, but they also use that to kind of hide this gentle, this gentle heart, you know, this heart that can be trampled upon quite easily. I feel like they are very sensitive inside. You know, there is, um, they need to show that persona because they have a sensitivity to them that they feel that they need to protect. And so that is what they are working through right now. They're trying to work through those strong feelings that they have, that they are very sensitive about. And they may need some time to kind of come into a sense of security or safety with those feelings. You know, I, I do feel that they have this uh, sense of vulnerability that is very hard for them to share. They kind of always lean into the persona of strength, the persona of I am this, you know, tough, strong person. Yeah, C8 of Swords. Oh, what <laughs> I am not surprised, okay, right? To me, this very much is in alignment with that. Like, you know, they tend to hold themselves back 
from feeling some of those deeper emotions because it is hard for them to process that. It is hard for them to feel that vulnerability. So that Eight of Swords energy is also about them, you know, kind of feeling more comfortable in their headspace. You know, that, that, that their mind is a much safer place than their heart. Oh, wow. Look at this. Four of Wands and Six of Pentacles. Wow. Oh, boy. Okay. So this tells us one of the reasons why they are struggling with this. Oh, my gosh. They see you as somebody they could marry or whatever deep commitment looks like to you. It doesn't have to be marriage, but they see you as, wow, I can build a life with you. And that is, wow, scary. That is blowing their mind. That is like, wow, four of wands. Like, I feel like, yes, of course you are on their mind, but what is on their mind is some sort of fantasizing about having a life with you, fantasizing about proposing to you, um, of marrying you, of, you know, of fantasizing about standing in front of family, friends, and the world and showing their commitment to you. And I feel like these are almost kind of like fantasies that are outside of their control. It's just like they're, it's just like coming to them. You know, it's like these visions, these visions that they've never had before that are coming to your person. And they feel very, it, it's such a powerful energy. I feel like it's just like rushing through me right now as I'm channeling. It's like, it's almost like it is beyond their control. It, it's like these visions that are coming to them from spirit. It's not, it's, I almost feel like it's not visions that are, that they feel are originating within themselves. It's almost like the universe is showing them this vision of this life that they could have with you. If they can, Six of Pentacles, meet you as an equal partner, reciprocate the level at which you are, the level at which this connection is coming into their life. So what I'm feeling here is that the challenge that your person is now trying to step up to is the challenge of, am I ready for this? Am I ready for this incredible relationship? Am I ready to claim it? Am I ready to give to it what it what it deserves to have? Um, I feel like they are like kind of getting themselves ready. They are preparing for this Six of Pentacles. Like they know that they have to step into this energy. They know that this is a huge leap for them because look with this Eight of Swords. It's like they're kind of used to playing small. Okay, they're, this Eight of Swords energy tells us that the way they rely upon that persona to kind of show themselves as this uh, very, um, to kind of show the, themselves as this very, you know, strong person who's in control. But I feel like it, it has definitely been with this eight of swords, it's definitely been an energy that's held them back from truly feeling deep emotions, from truly having a very deep, soulful, powerful connection. And I feel like they have literally, until they have met you, until they have seen what is possible with you with this four of wands, they've always held themselves back. And now the universe and this connection is challenging them to break these bonds. Look at this. See how this eight of swords, look at this person. They have their hands tied. They have this uh, blindfold on. It's like, it's like, the universe is saying, you know, it's time to take the blindfold off that you've put upon yourself. It's time to unleash yourself from these bonds. It's time for you to step out of this. Stop limiting yourself. Can you now step into this reciprocity, Six of Pentacles? Can you offer something big? Can you grasp something that is so much bigger than you, that requires you to step out of your comfort zone because the rewards of doing that are tremendous. Look at the reward that the universe is showing your person here, Four of Wands. Like they have everything here with you. They are seeing that there are tremendous Tremendous rewards of happiness, peace, romance, fulfillment if they could just step out of that persona, that um, that way in which they have been limiting themselves. Because see, crossing bridges. 
It's time for healing, connecting, mending, and releasing. So definitely this Eight of Swords energy, I feel like the reason why your person hides behind that persona of toughness, don't mess with me, is because there's something within them that they need to heal. There is some con like lack of connection that they have had in their life that has really held them back. Look at this compassion. You demonstrate the language of the heart by actively sharing and living love. Resilience, rise above tribulations. Okay, so see, your person, they have definitely dealt with some sort of difficult trials and tri tribulations in their life. Okay. But what they have relied upon is that sense of toughness, that sense of resilience, okay? So there's something within them that they're very proud of, okay? They're very proud that they have come through their challenges by showing their resilience. Like they've come through it with this tough guy, tough girl attitude, right? Um, and now I feel like spirit is challenging them to have more compassion for themselves as well as for you and as well, as well as for others. Like there is an energy of softening. I feel like this compassion energy is truly spirit telling your person, you know, it is time to soften this energy. It's time to let go of this tough guy, tough girl mentality and to bring more compassion, more softness more romance, you know, start loosening your hold on this very hard energy of I'm a tough person. Okay. Don't mess with me. I know what I'm doing. You know, I'm this, you know, this, 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 uh, person who shouldn't be trifled with that can only serve you for so long. I feel like it has now become a hindrance, right? This resilience where once it was a strength, whereas once in it helped your person to achieve certain things in the world, it helped them to get to a certain place in the world, but it's not helping them to get to the next level of love. They need to cross the bridge, okay? They need to heal some of the reasons why they have been holding themselves back in this tough mentality of this Eight of Swords. It's time to mend and it's time to now give in to the true emotions, work through those feelings. So there's a really beautiful energy coming through here from spirit about, um, you know, softening, you know, softening, easing into letting themselves open up to this beautiful love that they share with you. Okay. So we're going to get some specific messages from their higher self as well as outcome you know, what is happening next. And as I shuffle these cards, I just want to ask you, please do subscribe if you like your reading so far. It is um, just a beautiful way for us to have an energetic exchange. Please do also give this video a thumbs up because it shows YouTube that we have a message here that is worth spreading. Also, if you missed the introduction, many people have asked to bring back the affirmation of the day that I used to do. So I do have an affirmation for you today if you'd like to participate. It's all about writing it in the comment box below and putting it into your vibration so you can attract all of the love, abundance, you know, all the beautiful things in life that you so deserve. So today's affirmation, if you choose to uh, participate, and I hope you do, is I deserve the best and I always get it. I deserve the best and I always get it. And so make sure that you, you know, feel that in your heart, in your mind, in your spirit. Make sure that you put that in your vibration so that you can attract everything, all the beautiful things that you deserve. All right, look at this. Oh, see? Union. Absolutely. Look at this. Your person sees this incredible potential, right? They are opening up as these, this blindfold is coming down, as they are untangling themselves from these bonds that are holding them back. They are doing so because they see this beautiful potential between the two of you and this beautiful union between the two of you. And definitely, you know, they feel that that path has been difficult. You know, that path has felt hidden to them because they have not wanted to access 
access those deep, vulnerable, intimate feelings, right? Because they've been relying upon um, their toughness for so long. See, I've lost faith that real love exists. People have lied to and cheated on me. I'm afraid to open my heart. See, this is why. This is why I'm saying it's time for them to have that healing, okay? They have um, created that mental toughness that, you know, really, really, you know, I take no prisoners kind of mentality because they've lost faith, you know, because there have been some really difficult things that they've had to work through in their life, some sort of very difficult trials and tribulations. But I feel like as they're feeling more compassion, that that kind of very resistant energy is starting to dislodge itself. It's starting to soften. It's too scary to admit that I'm in love with you. I've never felt love this deeply before. Do you feel the same way? See, this is why I'm saying there's something about you and this connection that is opening up those energies. And that is why this came under the Six of Pentacles. It is time. It is time to reciprocate. It's time for them to open up. It's my secret. I want you so badly, but I'm not free to be with you. I'm loving you from a distance okay so this is definitely for some of you may not resonate for everybody but just take it as it resonates there's something here for some of you where your person just may not be free at this time there may be certain circumstances in their life that they are also trying to work through but i do feel that it's only a matter of time there's a resilience there is an energy here of transformation that is coming through so beautifully and and that movement forward is definitely coming through right here so let me know what you thought in the comment box below if you'd like to have a personal reading with me or order any of the oracle decks here that i've created for you all of the links are in the box below thank you so much for being here guys i I love you so much and I'll see you all on the next one. My beautiful group three that chose sacred pool. Here is your reading, your person. How are you on their mind? What are they thinking and feeling about you at this time? So we're going to start with this card that reveals their overall energy. Let's take a look at your person's overall energy. First quarter moon in Libra. Keep your heart open. Beautiful. Okay. I'm loving this. Look at the beauty of this card. Look at the beauty of the colors. They definitely form a very dreamy, sweet, loving, romantic, beautiful energy that is about the heart space. I'm loving this. So just to answer the first question, are you on their mind? Absolutely, yes. They are right now in the process of opening up their heart. This is so interesting because I feel like there is a recurring theme here. Um, we've been seeing this in group one, group two, and now in group three. I feel like all three of you groups, there is a definite overall energy coming from your person that they are going through a very definitive, very powerful phase of transformation. And what that transformation is about is so incredibly specific. I feel deeply that the transformation is literally about stepping into their true feelings, their true heart space. You know, sometimes and right now with everything that is going on in the world and how, you know, there's been so many struggles that we've been all going through collectively. I am not surprised to see this come up again and again in each of the groups. But it's a beautiful thing because I feel like whatever those challenges have been, guys, they are resulting in so many of us focusing on what is important in life, you know, focusing on the fact that ultimately all that really matters is love and that love is the key to solving all of the issues that we are going through. The more we can open our heart to love compassion, kindness. These are all higher vibrational states, right? And the higher we raise ourselves into those states, peace, 
joy, acceptance, unconditional love of one another, accepting each other's mistakes, accepting that we are not perfect, accepting that we are all learning and growing and that we are going to make mistakes. The more we are in these higher vibrations, the easier it is going to be for us to communicate with our love, whether it's our twin flame, our soulmate, whoever it is, your special person, the more you open your heart and the more they do, the communication between the two of you is going to flow a lot easier. And I feel like that is the main message of this entire reading. I feel like every challenge that you are going through is pushing you both to that next step of opening up your heart to one another, of being vulnerable, of being intimate, of having these true conversations that are going to bring you closer and closer together. And so that is what is on your person's mind. That is how you are on their mind at this time. So let's go deeper. What else, what else is your person? thinking and feeling as you are on their mind. Queen of Cups, see? Oh my gosh, look at how beautifully this goes with this energy. What could be better? What, what could be a better combination? Keep your heart open. And the Queen of Cups, who's literally the Queen of Hearts, you know, the Queen of Love and Emotions. Oh, I love it. Love this the world. Wow. Okay. What else as you are on your person's mind? What else are they thinking and feeling? Seven of Cups. All right. So we're definitely working through some issues here. I feel like for some of you, not for everybody, so take it as it resonates, but for some of you, I do feel that there may have been some sort of an ending or separation at this time. It may be quite temporary. That is what I am feeling. Um, and the reason for this, I feel, has been some sort of emotional confusion, some sort of split energy, um, emotionally split energy. And again, I feel like that is not surprising, right? That is not surprising because of all of the... Um, conflicts, the issues, everything that has been going on in the world. It is not surprising at all to me um, that people, many people are struggling with that Seven of Cups energy. There just seems to be so much going on. Um, there seems to be a lot of overwhelm. I feel like Seven of Cups to me is also the energy of, you know, feeling like you are emotionally overwhelmed, like you just don't know um, which decisions to take that are going to actually help improve your life you know sometimes it can not it can be very unclear and the more deeper emotions that are involved in that the more unclear it can become so i do feel that something has happened here between the two of you that has made either them you or both of you feel this emotional overwhelm um, there's something that's happened in your worlds and, and I feel that for some of you, it is, it is some sort of an outside pressure that may not really have to do with your actual relationship. I feel like if there has been some sort of a misunderstanding, some sort of a, uh, an emotional disconnect here that has happened, that has led to some sort of separation or very deep struggle emotionally, it may have come from things that are outside of your control, things that are in the world of your person. They may be dealing with certain issues that, again, have nothing to do with you, but they're, that are, you know, unfortunately affecting your connection. So there is definitely uh, a struggle. Look at this. I feel like this Queen of Cups is very much an internal state of being, whereas this world is very much an external energy, right? So we have this push and pull here of the inside versus the outside. There's a definite, like, um, you know, there's a definite at play of opposites where I'm feeling that your person is a little bit, um, you know, pulled 
in those opposing directions energetically. On the one hand, they are deeply connected to you. Um, if you are a feminine watching this for the divine masculine, right? Um, there's a special message here. You definitely are your masculine's queen of cups. You are that feminine energy that they are very, very deeply attached to, attracted to, and very much want to connect with. I mean, there is this deep need that your person is feeling right now. There's a longing to connect with you energetically, vibrationally, physically, intimately, sexually. Okay, that is coming through very, very strong. Um, and that is why there is a, a deep sense of um, longing and a deep sense of pain that is coming through from that longing because I feel like your person right now may feel like they're very alone in the world, very much like um, raw, like naked to the world. Like they feel like if, if you guys are not together at this time, they feel very raw, naked, and alone without you. They feel alone in the world. But they also feel that this world has caused them to become disconnected from this energy in some way. And they are trying to work through what those issues are. But they are definitely coming against some sort of pushback. Okay, the Seven of Cups to me is an energy of energy is an energy of like overwhelming pushback like it's like they don't know what is the best way to deal with this where is the solution to this issue see view from above get the big picture wow see that's to me that is to me the solution they're looking for and I feel like they are coming to that, right? It's time to get the big picture because isn't it interesting how this seven of cups is kind of like the overwhelm of the details. This is what I feel. This seven of cups, like oftentimes we get overwhelmed by the details that are distracting to us when what we really need to do is to step back and get that bigger picture view. So if there are details in this connection that have been bringing the two of you down, if you feel that you have been arguing or, it, or that you are disconnected from one another because you're arguing over details, because you don't agree upon certain details, um, it, maybe it is time for both of you to step back and look at the bigger picture of what it is that you truly want. What is the bigger picture? What is the bigger view here? Is it worth it? to put pressure upon this relationship because there are certain details that you may not see eye to eye on. See, what is robbing you of the joy? Again, are the details robbing you of the joy? Are there certain things that you guys just cannot agree upon, but you can't agree to disagree that are robbing you of joy? You delight in the love of life and bring a spirit of fun to all that you do. Okay, so your person right now, you are on their mind because they want to bring the joy back into this relationship. See, opportunity knocks, go for it. So this is really beautiful. I feel like, look at all of this energy here. Get the big picture, joy, go for this opportunity. Keep your heart open. I feel like there is a transitional energy. Again, we've been seeing that in every single reading. There's this beautiful energy of transitioning from that which is limiting to you and constricting to you to opening up your heart, opening up to the greater potential, opening up to the greater opportunity of what this love means. And the way to do that is to step out of the nitty gritty, step out of the little things that bother you, step out of the little things that are holding you back and Keep your eye on the bigger prize, which is the love, the connection, the joy, the passion, the potential of everything that this relationship can and should be beautiful. Okay, now we're going to get some specific messages and some outcomes. So as I 
shuffle these. I just want to ask you if you are loving this reading so far, please do make sure to subscribe. It means so much to me. Um, it's a beautiful energetic exchange between us. If you like this video, also please give it a thumbs up, a like, because it shows YouTube that we have a message of love that is worth spreading. Also, if you missed the introduction, many of you have asked for me to bring back the affirmation of the day, which is what we used to do in the early days of this channel. And so um, if you'd like to participate, all you have to do is write the affirmation of the, of the day in the comment box below and make sure you put it in your energy because it's all about you know, increasing our vibration, vibrating at the highest state so you can attract in all of the love, success, abundance, everything that you so want and deserve, right? So today's affirmation is, I deserve the best and I always get it. I deserve the best and I always get it. That's one of my favorite ones. So I wanted to start off with that. All right, let's take a look at our messages and outcome here. Wow, okay, very interesting. No one loves me like you do. I'm ready to commit to you and our beautiful future. See, this is why I feel like throughout this reading, we're definitely getting some energy of struggle or separation here. And that is why we are coming into this whole new space. I feel like there has definitely been something here, right? Ego, separation. Have you guys had struggles here again with that nitty gritty? Because I feel like a lot of the things that contribute to the struggle or separation between the two of you that are maybe ego based or ego related have very much to do with, again, that seven of cups energy, like, you know, not you know, like not looking at the bigger picture, getting caught up in the egoic details. Oftentimes when we are not getting along or when we are, you know, having, you know, negative interactions with the person that we love, that ego is focused on wanting to be right and sometimes in some of the smaller things or wanting to, you know, um, come out on top, be the winner, you know, in some sort of fight or struggle or discussion. So this is why I feel like this energy here is dissipating because what it's doing instead is your person is coming to appreciate the differences. It's time for both of you to appreciate your differences and learn how to grow from them instead of using your differences to break the two of you apart or, or not that you want to break the two of you apart, but as in like letting the differences and the ego battles separate you. So as we come back into, no, I appreciate these differences because they challenge me to grow. See, your person is starting to see that you challenge me in ways that make me grow. Even though it's difficult, I know it's right. And this is the energy that I think is going to bring the two of you both back into opening your heart to joy, looking at the bigger picture, taking the opportunity of this beautiful relationship through appreciation, not through criticism of one another, not through wanting to win arguments, not through wanting to be right, but instead appreciating your differences and how it makes the two of you grow. I keep getting signs that remind me of you. I can't ignore them anymore. I need to reach out to you. Okay, so again, are you seeing like if you're in separation or struggle, there is a beautiful energy that is transitioning out of that separation and back into communication, opening up your heart, putting aside your petty problems or differences, looking at the bigger picture, stepping back into the joy of this relationship and truly coming from an appreciation for one another so that you can come back into this beautiful connected queen of cups energy it is just so lovely so you know if you're in separation, there is definitely going to be communication here. There's definitely a transitionary phase that is coming through, but you're going to have to be, I feel like spirit is saying that make sure that you 
you know, start appreciating one another. Make sure you start letting go of the egoic battles. And with the Seven of Cups, do not get bogged down in the details of that emotional overwhelm. Start opening up that energy to the bigger things that you both want to accomplish together. So if you'd like to have a personal reading with me or order any of the Oracle decks that I've created for you, all of the links are in the box below. I love you so much, guys. Thank you so much for being here and I'll see you all on the next one.